Hi everyone, Ellie here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm very happy to have you. Um, I just want to start off by saying, guys, sorry that I have been very inactive at the minute. I have been very poor with uploading videos, organising, getting my stuff together. Literally, it has been so crazy the pa these past few days. I've just been super busy. Um, I actually had a bad <laughs> allergic reaction um, last week and I actually ended up having the paramedics come round to attend to me. And it's just been super, super chaotic, guys. So all I can say is I'm sorry for the lack and i'm trying to get back on track so anyway in today's video i thought i would rank all 15 of my ColourPop palettes from my favorite to my least favorite now i've seen this video a few a few times across youtube this isn't my video idea there's tons of videos like this but i just thought this is a fun video i absolutely love ColourPop, so this would be quite fun to do also at the end of this video i will announce the two winners of my giveaway i finally kind of organized got this stuff together um and i've got two giveaway winners i picked at random um and i will announce at the end so um the winners please leave your instagram handle in the comments of this video so i can contact you with your goodies but anyway without further ado i like this video and we shall crack straight on so anyway I have 15 Colourpop palettes here. I have a few of the 12 pan and then the rest are the 9 pan palettes. I know I don't have a ton of Colourpop palettes. I did actually get rid of a load. Um, so these are ones that I generally just really, really love. So this has been really interesting to kind of rank them myself. So um, we're just going to crack straight on with my number one. I'm starting at number one or should I start at number two? We'll start at number one. So we're going to start off with my favourite Colourpop palette. Now, my favourite Colourpop palette is the Whatever 12 Pan Pressed Eyeshadow Palette. I absolutely love this palette. The tones in here, the shades, absolutely everything about this palette I love. I just absolutely adore the colour story. As you can see how much I use mine and how messy and ragged mine is. I feel like you could get such a beautiful neutral look in this palette. But you could also get a really, really nice glam look as well. Like even with this gold, you have everything in here. You could need these beautiful mattes, shimmer this like pressed chunky glitter here i just absolutely love the color story of this palette i think this is generally a really really nice palette also i love the packaging as well it kind of really goes nicely with the theme obviously the red roses and stuff and then the theme the color theme of this palette i just absolutely adore this palette it's just perfect it's everything you could need you've got your inner corner highlight you've got your light transition shades you've got your deeper transition shades you've got your beautiful shimmers i just absolutely love this palette i feel like it really um looks good on my eyes so that's my number one so obviously it's one to 15. my second favorite color pop palette is the california love um again i absolutely love this palette i do obviously as you can see my top two are the 12 pan palettes um i know a lot of people prefer the nine pan but i just generally prefer the 12 pan i feel like you get a little bit more of an option in the palette um and i just like them i feel like they feel a little bit sturdier i kind of like this type of packaging as i prefer to like the hard plastic because i find with the nine pan the hard plastic the shades do come out of the pan a lot um so i generally prefer this kind of packaging anyway but again i absolutely love this palette you've got a really nice variation of shades in here beautiful like transition shades golds i absolutely love golds on the lids and kind of like those burnt oranges in the crease so again this is such a perfect palette for me it's absolutely gorgeous these are just super super stunning and again i just love the packaging of this you can just see how gorgeous it is and i love it so that's my second favorite my third favorite color pop palette is actually a nine pan this is the blowing smoke or smoke show or i know they've kind of renamed this a few times um but my third favorite is the blowing smoke i absolutely love this for creating such a beautiful smoky eye look again with the tw the nine palettes you do get a mirror and you don't on the 12 pan so it's kind of nice that with the nine pan you do get a kind of mirror to do your eyeshadow in um but this is my third favorite i absolutely love this palette i absolutely love doing like a gray dark smoky eye on like a night out i just think it looks really really nice and i don't have any palettes like this in my collection it really makes it nice and unique um the shimmers in here are insane i'm gonna swatch this middle shade called starstruck it's just absolutely beautiful like the shimmers in here and everything you can just see that that was one swipe on my hand and i'll even swatch a matte for you like honestly color pop palettes super super pigmented super pigmented i absolutely love them i think for the price is honestly absolutely insane i know if you're obviously in the uk like me it's harder to get because you have to pay taxes shipping whereas in your if you're in the us it probably isn't as much to kind of get it shipped over 
sorry about that my computer interrupted um so yeah it's not as much if you do have it in the us but you can still access it from the uk you just have to pay a little bit more but generally in my opinion it's super super worth it i think these are insanely good palettes the pigmentation formula the color stories i just feel like there's a palette for everybody on ColourPop. um you know you've got dark you've got neutrals you've got like there's just a ton a ton of palettes that could really really suit you um the best so this is my first favorite i just think it's generally really good and really unique i absolutely love that my fourth favorite is baby got peach i absolutely love this one again this is just a super super nice neutral palette it's absolutely gorgeous you've got this really unique kind of chunky glitter shade at the top as well which i really really love um i haven't really been reaching for my color pop palettes as much as i'd like to nowadays i tend to reach for like a bigger palette i don't tend to reach for like smaller palettes like this um but i absolutely used to love this palette back in the day like these neutral shades here are just absolutely gorgeous for creating that eye look again i'll swatch one of the shimmers for you or swatch ready or yacht um i just i've got to show you i wasn't really intending to do swatches but i just got to show you guys like the just the formula like how good these shadows and pigments um are in the palette so i just honestly can't recommend ColourPop enough this is my fourth favorite my fifth favorite is the going coconuts palette i absolutely love this one there's nothing more to say it's just the perfect neutral brown beautiful palette it's just absolutely beautiful like i said though look you can kind of tell this shade here is like popping out of the pan and if i went like this it's probably going to come out on me um so that has happened a few times a lot of the shades have smashed in some of the other palettes i used to have so just be careful with these they are fragile that's all i've got to say but again this is just such a beautiful palette you get the most beautiful neutral tones in here it's just so so nice and laid out in this palette absolutely love it um my sixth favorite one two three four five getting a bit my sixth favorite palette is the that's taupe palette um there's just been so much hype over this palette generally i've seen so many people fall in love with this palette absolutely love the packaging for a start it is different to like the hard plastic packaging you can tell this one's like the hard plastic and then this one's kind of like the 12 pan palette ones which i like i like that i prefer that um this is that's taupe this one is just super 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 beautiful again i just love it i love how kind of the shades represent the outer packaging i just think it makes it so so easy when you want to be like oh i want to wear these sort of tones and then you can tell by the packaging that is going to give you those tones in that palette that's what i really like about pa these kind of palettes because when you're trying to scram through and you're trying to find a certain shade and you're going through loads of palettes whereas if you want like a particular shade look at the outer packaging and you've probably got that shade in the palettes which i really really like about the color pop palettes um again look at these shades look at that shimmer that is just like waiting to be swatched all i can say as well these are super 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 creamy buttery they feel like absolute silk on the skin this one's more of like um a silky kind of creamy texture one more of kind of like an eye glaze on top but honestly these palettes are oh, just absolutely insane so that is my sixth favorite color pop palette one two three am i okay today clearly not right my seventh favorite is the coaster coral palette again i just absolutely love ColourPop packaging just look at that packaging absolutely stunning this one oh i just absolutely love this one with the golds that pink the beige oh it's just absolutely such a beautiful 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 palette i absolutely love this one um i'm saying that about all of them i'm like i'm absolutely loving this but i absolutely do love all of these i just kind of like it was so difficult to kind of rank from like for one to 15 um because i absolutely adore all of these palettes so um yeah the next favorite the ninth is the making moths um this is such a gorgeous palette again um so that's like the free harder kind of well not harder but um the like the 12 pan package ones i have um they're all in a row because i absolutely love these this is such a beautiful beautiful palette again with those gorgeous mauvey shades you just know when you look at the packaging you're like you're going to get those gorgeous mauve tones um and again this is just such a gorgeous palette it's just absolutely unreal obviously with um um, same as the 12 pan palettes on these kind of different package ones you don't get a mirror on this but i don't mind that that doesn't bother me i use a smaller mirror anyway which i have on my desk i don't use the palette mirrors anyway so that doesn't bother me but these ones don't have a mirror in case you're interested but i absolutely love this palette i just love the tones you just got everything perfect like the lighter transition shades the deeper tone down here those shimmers it's just absolutely perfect i'm losing i'm losing track here 
Um, that was the eighth favourite, not the ninth, sorry. Um, my next favourite palette is the Sweet Talk palette. I absolutely love this one. Again, this is another one of the £12 palettes. This isn't my favourite £12 palette. Particularly, I don't really like this super, super bright gold here. Um, there's some things in here that I don't really like as much as I do in the first two palettes I showed you. Um, but I do still love it. It is a gorgeous palette. You've got gorgeous tones. Again, I absolutely adore the packaging. I think it is probably one of my favourite packaged products from Colourpop. Just such a great palette so that's my ninth favorite the next palette in the rank is the lilac you a lot um this is again a beautiful beautiful lilac palette i absolutely i actually surprised myself with this palette um i never really used to wear lilac -y tones until i found this and it's just like the perfect lilac it just looks really really nice i feel like it would look nice on anybody but it's just like a really really nice lilac palette that didn't really swatch very well there but it's just like got the most beautiful lilac tones light dark you've got like these beautiful shimmers it's just generally a really really nice lilac palette the next palette in the rank is the Strawberry Shake. Um, again, like, can we just put the packaging, please? Um, this is absolutely beautiful. Again, you've got super, super, I love this one because it's like super bright and fun. Like you look at them palettes and you're like, oh, this is really fun. Um, you've got obviously beautiful bright shades in here, but you've still got that neutral tones in there. You've still got them neutral tones in there, which I just absolutely love. I feel like that's what I love about Colourpop palettes because you just have so much variation with the shades. They've just done it so, so well um, that you could just have like a smoky, like a dramatic eye look, but then you could also have a neutral eye look in the same palette, which is just absolutely great so again this one is such a beautiful one I absolutely love that one um that was the the 11th one two three four five six yeah, that strawberry shake will come down. It's 11. And the 12th palette in the rank is the Orange You Glad. This is such a fun one just to look at by the packaging. I'm like, like it's such a nice, bright, fun palette. This one, oh, this one is super, super stunning. I literally absolutely love the look of this one. If I wore these tones, this would probably definitely be up there in my top five. But I don't really wear these types of shadows that much. I don't really wear super bright orange shades. Um, there's a lot of like tones in here that I wouldn't typically wear, like kind of the ready tones, but I absolutely love love the interior of it it just looks super super gorgeous every time i look at this i'm like oh it's so beautiful it's literally such a beautiful gorgeous layout in the shades again um it's just the fact that i don't really reach for these shades often so that's why it's kind of obviously lower down the rank but i just absolutely love the packaging of ColourPop products um as well sorry i forgot to mention they do put all the shade names on the back of the nine pan palettes just in case you were like oh what do i know about the shades they've obviously got them writ on the palette as well if you can see but then they've also got wrote on the back as well which is super nice so that comes in at number 12 number 13 is the cloud spun palette now i had to have this because i love pink and i was like yes i need this in my life but i haven't really reached for it i haven't i don't know why i haven't reached for it because it is stunning it's absolutely blinking stunning um these shades in here honestly they get me they really give me festival vibes in here like you've got this chunky glitter here this pigment on top it honestly gives me festival vibes like i am going to wear this when i go to tokyo world because it literally she looks super super gorgeous super pretty i absolutely love it it's just a pretty pretty pink palette it's just perfect for those pink lovers and i just absolutely love it so that's it 13 at 14 we've got probably my least favorite nine pound palette which obviously is the least favorite because after that's a 12 pound palette um so this is my least favorite nine pound palette simply because the shades are not shades that i would wear i keep this because it's beautiful obviously i keep it because it's beautiful but are they shades i wear no they're not shades i wear i don't wear blues i don't really wear like these kind of hot fuchsia shades here um but i just love the aesthetic of the palette i absolutely love it and i feel like oh if i ever needed to reach for a blue i would go for this palette but i don't wear blue often done but it's beautiful and i can't get rid of it because it's absolutely stunning but um if you are like a blue lover a pastel lover definitely check this one out it's super super beautiful oh it's just gorgeous like i look at it and i'm like oh it's so 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 gorgeous it just it gets me guys i just can't ever get rid of stuff like this i'm just like it's too pretty it's too pretty now the my least favorite palette happens to be a 12 pound palette now obviously my top two were 12 pound palettes and this one ranks it at the bottom this is the menage and moi this one was from the christmas collection i believe this one's actually got a big mirror on as well which is cool this is what this palette looks like now i haven't reached for this one i don't know why the shades don't really get me excited when i look at this palette i'm not like oh my god i want to create looks like it looks super super fun and cool i kind of look at it and i'm like hmm like 
Do you know what I mean? It kind of doesn't really get me excited. It doesn't kind of get you to want to do that eyeshadow vibes. So um, this is obviously still quite new to me. I didn't get it that long ago. So maybe I need to give it a chance, try it on my eyes. Um, but yeah, I just haven't really reached for this one yet. I haven't given it a go. So I don't have an opinion on it yet. Whereas I've used every other palette. Um, but I just but look. By just looking at this one though, it definitely kind of doesn't rank up as one of my favourites, but I need to give it a go. So for now, this one ranks in at 15. So that's my least favourite ColourPop palette. Now, that's all my ColourPop palettes ranked from 1 to 15. So if I give a little recap, this was obviously number one, the Whatever palette, and then the Menage one was number 15 at the least favourite palette. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now time to announce my giveaway winners. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that entered. I really am grateful. Um, I will be doing lots more giveaways coming up in the future. So please stay tuned. Don't get disheartened. You will definitely get a chance in the future. Um, just show your support on my channel. Like my videos. Comment. Like it doesn't go unnoticed. I notice every single comment. Like and I really do appreciate it so much. So just show your love and you will definitely be noticed. So how to write my winners down on a little piece um piece of paper so my giveaway winners my first one is lola english so please leave your instagram tag or if you don't have instagram i guess leave your facebook or something down below and my second winner is aisley long um there were the winners there just i wrote them down if that's your name then obviously just comment down below um your tags so i can send you your goodies i have an absolute massive box i kind of need to sort through do like half and half fair but i have absolutely loads of goodies that i can't wait to give away to you so yeah definitely leave your tags down below if you don't get back to me within a week i will need to select a new giveaway winner so make sure you get back to me as soon as possible on this video otherwise a new winner will be selected so anyway thanks for watching guys i will see you in my next video bye for now